What is the primary material used in manufacturing surgical instruments? A. Carbon steel. B. Titanium. C. Stainless steel. D. Aluminum. Answer, C. Stainless steel is preferred for surgical instruments due to its strength, corrosion resistance, and ability to be sterilized repeatedly. Which of the following is considered a cutting instrument? A. Forceps. B. Hemostat. C. Scalpel. D. Retractor. Answer, C. Scalpels are precision cutting tools used for incisions during surgeries. The function of a needle holder is to a. Grasp delicate tissue. b. Clamp bleeding vessels. c. Hold and guide sutures. d. Retract organs. Answer, c. Needle holders are designed to firmly grasp needles during suturing procedures. Which scissors are specifically designed for cutting delicate tissue? a. Mayo scissors. b. Metzenbaum scissors. c. Iris scissors. D. Bandage scissors. Answer, B. Metzenbaum scissors are fine and curved, ideal for cutting delicate tissues. What is the purpose of a ronger? A. Cutting tough tissue or bone. B. Grasping arteries. C. Holding skin open. D. Sealing vessels. Answer, A. Rongers are strong instruments used to cut and remove small pieces of bone or tough tissue. Instruments classified as grasping and holding include a. Hemostats b. Tissue forceps c. Scalpels d. Rongers Answer, b. Tissue forceps are used to grasp and hold tissue during surgeries. What is the correct name for a self-retaining retractor? a. Deaver b. Whitelawner c. Richardson D. Sen. Answer, B. Whitelawner retractors hold tissues apart without continuous manual effort. Which surgical instrument is used primarily to occlude blood vessels? A. Hemostat. B. Scalpel. C. Retractor. D. Curette. Answer, A. Hemostats are clamps that control bleeding by occluding blood vessels. Which instrument is used to scrape bone or tissue? A. Curette. B. Trocar. C. Retractor. D. Forceps. Answer, A. Curettes are spoon-shaped tools used for scraping biological tissue. What is the biggest risk associated with using a damaged instrument during surgery? A. Poor appearance. B. Longer surgery time. C. Increased risk of infection. D. Staff complaints. Answer, C. Damaged instruments can harbor pathogens, increasing infection risk. Which material is the lightest and commonly used for microsurgical instruments? A. Stainless steel. B. Titanium. C. Brass. D. Silver. Answer, B. Titanium is lightweight and highly resistant to corrosion, ideal for delicate surgeries. Which type of joint is most common in scissors and forceps? A. Lap joint. B. Box lock joint. C. Screw lock joint. D. Pin lock. Answer, B. The box lock is the most common joint, allowing secure opening and closing action. Which part of a hemostat provides the locking mechanism? A. Tips. B. Box lock. C. Ratchet. D. Finger rings. Answer, C. The ratchet mechanism holds the instrument closed firmly during use. The most fragile part of a surgical instrument is usually the A. Finger ring. B. Tip. C. Handle. D. Shaft. Answer, B. The tip is usually the most delicate part and prone to damage. Which instrument would most likely be used in orthopedic surgery? A. Towel clamp. B. Kerosene ronger. C. Metzenbaum scissors. D. Debakey forceps. Answer, B. 
Kerosene rongers are specialized for cutting bone during orthopedic procedures. A retractor used for abdominal surgeries is called A. Balfour retractor B. Army Navy retractor C. Sen retractor D. Ribbon retractor Answer, A. Balfour retractors provide deep retraction during abdominal surgeries. What type of instrument is a trocar? A. Suturing B. Penetrating and draining C. Retracting D. Cutting Answer, B. Trocars are used to penetrate body cavities and assist in drainage or insertion of instruments. Which scissors would be used to cut thick sutures? A. Iris scissors B. Bandage scissors C. Mayo scissors D. Metzenbaum scissors Answer, C. Mayo scissors are sturdy and ideal for cutting thick tissues or sutures. Which forceps have teeth to grasp tissue securely? A. Alice forceps B. Adson forceps C. Russian forceps D. Mosquito forceps Answer, B. Adson forceps have fine teeth that help grasp delicate tissue firmly. What are Langenbeck retractors primarily used for? A. Bone cutting B. Deep wound exposure C. Skin suturing D. Scraping cartilage Answer, B. Langenbeck retractors are handheld instruments used to expose deep surgical sites. The correct term for a scalpel handle is A. Blade carrier B. Knife handle C. Cutting tool D. Surgical stick Answer, B. Scalpel handles are formally called knife handles. Which instrument feature is especially important when performing neurosurgery? A. Size B. Insulated coating C. Blunt tip D. Microsurgical precision Answer, D. Neurosurgery requires instruments designed for extreme precision and control. What part of scissors determines the type of tissue it can cut? A. Finger rings B. Length C. Blade design D. Box lock Answer, C. The blade design, sharp or blunt, affects what tissue the scissors are suited for. Which instrument is commonly used to clamp small blood vessels? A. Alice clamp B. Kelly clamp C. Mosquito clamp D. Bulldog clamp Answer, C. Mosquito clamps are small and ideal for clamping delicate, small vessels. What instrument is used to stabilize bone during orthopedic procedures? A. Geely saw B. Steinman pin C. Wire twister D. Bone holder Answer, D. Bone holders grasp and stabilize bones during surgical fixation procedures.